Kia ora everyone, and uh, well, uh, first and foremost, hoping everything is going well for you uh, wherever you are in the world. Um, it is a pretty scary time at the moment with COVID-19. Oh, um, there's a lot of uncertainty around, and uh, a lot of people around the world have lost friends and family. Uh, hmm. But um, hopefully there is light at the end of the tunnel. Um, over here in New Zealand, uh, it's looking like we will soon be um, de-escalating our quarantine uh, measures, so um, it does mean a few more things can happen. Uh, we can start ordering from fast food restaurants again, which uh, will be good. It'd be nice to have a good curry again. But, um, yeah. Um, it's also meant quite a bit of a lifestyle change. Um, my job hunt, which hadn't um, borne fruit, but by no means from lack of trying, um, has been put on hold. So, yeah. Uh, I've had to help my parents out with their work as a bit of a videographer and uh, editor for their line of work. Uh, since uh, level 4 um, has meant that they haven't been able to do some of their other regular duties. Um, Hmm. But um, I've been able to keep myself busy through some other uh, means. I've been able to catch up on some movies, uh, some video games, uh, been doing a bit of script writing as well, and um, I've even been um, helping out around the house. Um, we've got a lovely garden out the back and I've even been helping to just make sure that there's no weeds among the carrots and uh, even picking some apples. So. But uh, regardless of where you are in the world, I hope you're staying safe, keep washing your hands, keep practicing physical distancing, and we will get through this. From pandemic stuff, um, there's been a few other cool things that have happened. So um, earlier in February, I went to see Alton John at his Farewell Yellow Brick Road tour, which was amazing. Um, oh my um, I will say, Elton John is an incredible showman. He is fantastic. Um, if you have an opportunity to go see him for his uh, farewell tour, I would highly recommend it. it was, it's definitely one of the best experiences I've ever had in my life. I've uh, also started uh, working with an awesome group of people uh, called True Life Characters, who are a group of uh, volunteer cosplayers who sometimes help out with uh, events, so um, I did an event as Anakin Skywalker and uh, hopefully there will be a few more opportunities to bring out more characters etc etc um, but I think I might uh, tell you guys a little bit about uh, direction of the channel at the moment um, so um, I have been working on a few projects some of these projects are for the channel, some of them um, some of them are for completely uh, different uh, directions. I'll go into too much detail about them, they're a little bit of a surprise, but uh, I'm looking forward to, uh, to all of them being available for release, and I'll let you guys know when they're available. But uh, on the stuff I can tell you about, um, I've uh, luckily been uh, getting back into uh, play with a few of my other gaming friends, like um, uh, Dragos, Prince LPJ, and Circle Dip. Um, I'm, I've got something in the um, in the works with Circle Dip, so um, hopefully that'll be pretty cool. It's Star Wars oriented, so yeah. And hopefully there'll be a little bit of content in the future where they uh, get back into the picture. Uh, they did move into more Twitch ch um, territory. Uh, but again, if you want to follow them on Twitch, uh, I can leave them in the description below. And on the subject of Twitch, um, I recently started streaming there myself. So, um, I finished off the American campaign for Company of Heroes there. Um, I am looking at doing Batman Arkham City on uh, Twitch at some point. I'm just trying to figure out uh, when would be a good day to stream. Um, yeah. Um, but if you do want to follow me, I'll leave a link to my Twitch channel in the description below. And I will also 
I also have a link there um, in my channel art on my channel if you want to check it out. Um, but I've also been working on scripts for Right in the Childhood and Right in the Childhood Extra. Um, I just need to go over them one last time and then it's just a matter of actually putting things into action. So voice recordings, footage, etc, etc. Um, and I'm particularly looking forward to this one because it was, um, it revolves around a show that was, uh, you know, pretty close to my heart when I was growing up, so, yeah. Whew, but, uh, yeah, some, there's some good stuff in the works, and, uh, hopefully, uh, quarantine gives me, a, I can use the quarantine time effectively to, uh, get a few of those, so, hmm. yeah. Um... Well, I guess that's all in terms of updates. Again, hope you guys are keeping healthy. Um, I do have two more things I wanted to mention. Uh, so, number one, if you're looking for a few things to um, uh, uh, to keep you, uh, to keep you happy, um, my mates uh, Fisher and Gareth, uh, who are um, a couple of amazing people um, who make an awesome group of cosplayers called the Glorish Bastards um, have started up a little bit of a Spidey Pool isolation series. Um, if you guys are fans of Spidey Pool cosplay and you just want some general cosplay awesomeness, uh, check out the first episode. I'll leave them in the description. And uh, also for fans of cosplay, um, the Con Artist Magazine, which is a New Zealand-based uh, cosplay magazine, um, are start, have uh, put up a Kickstarter um, to help finance their latest issue. Uh, they're an amazing bunch. Um, some of the crew are really uh, very good friends of mine. Um, and they're, they're not too far away from their goal, actually. Um, but if you do have a bit of uh, money to spare, um, I will... Also leave a link to the uh, to the uh, to the Kickstarter if you want to give them a hand. Um, like I said, they're incredible people, and they could really use um, some good support. So, yeah. But uh, anyway, hope you guys are keeping well, and uh, I'll talk to you guys again soon.